Hi, my name is Niall Murphy and this is a short video to highlight some of the new features in Salesforce Community Cloud in the winter release. I'm going to start by showing you the new account portal template that was launched in our winter release. We're looking at the website of a fictitious company, Brightbank, and we've logged in uh, to their portal here as Lauren Boyle. Across the homepage, we can see that we've got a number of um, processes that we can carry out here within the community. I've also got access to my cases, the ability to you know, apply for loans and do other activities here within um, the community. Let's say, for example, that I lost my credit card. Well, now within the winter release, we can embed flows um, within, um, within the, the community experience. So these are um, like a scripted process that allows for branching and that are built with a visual designer. We'll see how they're built shortly. But in this case, um, I'm going to go through the, the steps. And what can happen in the background is that as I select different options, it will branch down different routes. It might create records in Salesforce or alerts for individuals or integration to other back office systems. So, you know, um, I think maybe I just left my credit card at home and I didn't bring it to the office today. So I'm not sure quite uh, what happened to it, if it's completely lost. Um, so I'm just going to select this option here and see what it says. OK, great. I've got the option to pause uh, my card. In this case, I'm going to pause it for just over a week just while I look for it at home and I'm going to have the bank contact me um, uh, you know, before they unpause that credit card. Okay, so great, I've been able to step through the process and in the background it's updated the systems within the bank. What else what might we want to do within this um, portal experience? Well, another new feature in the winter release is the ability to share document libraries and to have them you know, as tile view here. So again, in this case for the bank, they might want to share documents about you know, a guide to their products, mortgages in this case. And then following this, you know, I might decide, whoa, I'm actually, you know, that's good timing. I'm interested in applying for a mortgage or getting in touch with an advisor around that. So let's um, uh, ask a question here. Um, uh, do I apply for a And so what you'll notice is that, you know, as I type in my details here in the case, the knowledge articles are updating automatically to try and match with what I'm uh, typing in. So I can view these knowledge articles and if one of them matched uh, my requirements, then I'd be able to um, just resolve my issue without having to submit the case. In this scenario, I haven't found quite the right answer, so I'm going to go ahead and submit my case into, into the application here. Again, you know, this is the standard case record inside in Salesforce, but you can control what information is exposed to the end customer and the look and feel of this page as well. Okay, um, and we can see that that latest case is available here so that the customer has a view of the latest status on that particular case. Now let's have a look from um, the employee side in this fictitious bank inside in their um, Salesforce environment. So the first place we're going to take a look at is the agent view. So they've got a service team and they're responding to cases that come in from the phone, from email, from the web. And those cases that were submitted on the portal are automatically pushed through to that team. I can open up that case within the console view here and I can see all the details around uh, that particular um, case. I've got the details on the case itself, the contact information, also details of automatic replies and what's happened already. New um, for Salesforce is this Community360 view where now I can see the history of the interaction that's happened for that customer on the community site. And this is really powerful because I can see what knowledge articles they looked at. I can preview those knowledge articles here. So now I can be really more intelligent as an agent about how I respond to this customer. I can tell, oh, they've had a couple of similar issues or they've, they've looked at these type of articles already and it didn't resolve the issue for them. So we need to try something else. So really powerful stuff in, in terms of providing a, a good level of service. 
Now let's take a look at how we build um, those community experiences. So we do that using um, the community builder here. So the community builder allows us to, in a uh, point and click manner, make changes to our community site. So for example, if I wanted to update logos, change colors here within the environment, maybe I want uh, a bit of blue going on instead of uh, the, the purple that was there previously, um, and I can really quickly you know, make that change. Uh, I might decide, mm, I'm not too sure about that actually, and I can undo those changes very quickly as well. Okay. Um, you'll see that the page itself is made up of components. So I've got, got a component here, an image banner, um, and when I click on components, it'll expose uh, parameters that those components have that I can update. Uh, here we've got a tile menu, here we've got a refer a friend, apply for personal loan. And again, you know, the power of this type of solution is that it's, it's fully integrated with Salesforce. So it's super easy to expose any object we want, you know, out to uh, the users in the community. So here we're doing cases, which is a pretty standard thing, but it, it could be, you know, that you want to share account information, invoice information, or other objects inside in Salesforce with your customers. So one of the things um, then that we wanted to touch on here is um, what's new in the winter release. Um, so there's obviously a couple of different types of components that we can have. Um, we've got standard components that are provided by Salesforce. Um, and then we've got custom components that our customers either build themselves or that um, they've uh, got a partner to help them with, or maybe that they've installed a component from the Salesforce app exchange. One of the benefits of you know, um, the, the Salesforce platform is that three times a year we're releasing new components. And such it is in, in the winter release that one of the new components we've released is the flow component. So if I come in here, drag this onto the page, we'll see now that I can embed Salesforce flows. So Salesforce flows is a kind of process automation tool um, with a visual designer. Um, and it's something that's been part of Salesforce for quite some time, but now it's super simple to embed those flows into your community experience. So here I can see I've got some various different options, flows that I have in my environment here. Um, I want to embed the lost credit card flow directly on the homepage because lots of users are having that, that, that issue. And I can do it just like that in a matter of clicks. So how do we build these um, Salesforce flows? So they're available from the Salesforce setup area. And like I said, they're built with this visual designer. So here, for example, uh, we can see this is one of the pages. This is the preview of the page where it was looking at, you know, what uh, the user to clarify what type of situation it was. You know, is their card definitely lost? Was it stolen? Or they just can't find it right now. And we can see the various options here. And then based on the answer to that question, we were going down different routes and taking different actions. Um, and the actions can also consist of you know, logic and looping through records, updating records, creating new records, and kicking off other processes inside in Salesforce. So it's quite a powerful capability. Um, and if you want to find out more about Flow, Trailhead is a great source of information. And um, you know, there's even an example and a project here that will take you through using Flow to create a satisfaction survey in your instance of Salesforce. Okay. Um, one final thing that I wanted to touch on um, that uh, was actually in the summer release, um, but more and more customers are, are starting to, to notice this as well, is the Community Optimizer. So this is a Chrome extension that allows you to look at the performance of your community. Um, so here we can see, uh, for example, for this page, you know, the overall score is 91% and we can see some areas are green, some are amber, and some need some, some looking at. So it gives us a good insight into how we can tweak and update the performance of our community experience. That's all for now. Um, stay tuned for more videos later. Thanks.